This is the HiDoc H1. It's a chat GPT powered audio doc that has multiple purposes for productivity and AI summary. It's not just a wired speakerphone via USB-C. This is also a Bluetooth speakerphone that you can connect to your phones. It's also an audio recorder and a transcriber, which also includes bi-directional noise cancellation, which I'm excited to show you in this video. This is a very nicely designed speakerphone. It actually comes in two colors. I have the one here in slate gray, but you can also get a lighter toned one called platinum gray. Make sure to hit the link for the launch campaign and to check out all the full specifications, features, and pricing information of when this goes live. So let's take a look at how this works. So you have all of the common buttons that you would expect from a speakerphone. You have end and answer calls right there. You have the mute button to mute the microphone. You have a volume control wheel. This can actually play and pause as well by pressing down. This wheel actually has an LED ring around it, which I will showcase how that works when you do turn it on. And this button here is called the high dot key. So this is going to be key when you're going to record your calls. And we're going to explore all of the chat GPT features that are included with this device. As you can see, very large speaker and microphone right here, which is super clear quality. The red slider here, this is a game changer. This is the world's first bi-directional noise cancellation option in any speakerphone that's on the market. Now you've heard of active noise cancellation whereby it actually drowns out a lot of the background noise on your end, but have you ever wondered if someone else on the other end of the court is in a very noisy environment, whether they're outside and there's a lot of traffic, whether they have a fan on in the background, you can't cancel a lot of their noise to make their vocals a lot clearer up until now. This allows you to cancel the noise in the background of the person on the other end of the call. You slide this up to the top to give you maximum bi-directional noise cancellation so that you can hear them very clearly. And I'm very impressed of how this works. And that is very cool AI tech that they've developed into this device. Not only as a speakerphone, this is an 11 in one docking station. So you can actually collect multiple different peripherals using this. So you've got the DC input, you need to connect to a plug and charger that comes in the box with this. This is the USB-C port that you connect to your laptop. You have two HDMI ports, which are both 4K, 60 Hertz, which you can connect dual monitors and you know really get your productivity going. You have another USB-C port, two USB-A ports, one 10 gigabits fast transfer, one five gigabits per second, and then you have a LAN input there. And on the left-hand side, you have the Bluetooth pairing button, so you can connect this to your phone and take all of your phone calls directly from this without having the need to actually use your phone. You also have another USB-C port here, fast 10 gigabits transfer, and you have a micro SD and an SD card slot as well. And in fact, I have been using this quite a lot to transfer all of my content from my SD card slot into here, and it's a very quick fast transfer over to my laptop. Okay, so now that I have everything connected, you can see I've got one HDMI connected to my monitor, the USB-C cable and the power adapter. So I've got that connected here on my desk. You can see launch campaign. This is actually complemented with an app called High Notes. When you do record a call using the High Doc H1, you can just connect it to your laptop and it will pop up as an external USB drive and it will have an uncompressed WAV file in there. You upload the WAV file into this website, highnotes.highdoc.com, and then it will transcribe and give you all of the summary of everything that was said on the call. But then if you use the summary tab, this will actually use chat GPT and summarize everything in very cleanly written meeting notes. And we'll be testing that out today. You can see all of your previously recorded notes on this dashboard as well. Once you've logged in, you can see I've created one recently as part of my test called tomorrow's plans. And that actually came out very well. So let's go ahead and dive in to all of the capabilities. And first of all, we'll start off with the basics just to test out the microphone and speaker quality on this as a speakerphone. So let's go ahead and play a song from Spotify and I'll be using this as the speaker. It is pretty loud. I'll go to the maximum volume for a little bit and come back down. But obviously you guys will hear something slightly different to how I hear it in person. But my microphone, which is on my shirt here, is quite close to it. So hopefully you get an idea of how clear and how loud the audio comes directly from this. I'll control the volume with the high dock.
I'll go to max volume. Even at max volume, that is quite punchy. So I'm quite impressed with this as a speaker. So if you just wanted to set this dock up with your laptop and use it as your speaker to play back your content from your laptop, it does a pretty decent job and I'm quite impressed with that. Let's go ahead and just play back an example Zoom recording from a meeting as well so you guys can hear how clear it would be if you are on a call taking maybe meetings remotely for work. So uh, we'll start with the apologies and I guess we have Hazel, everyone else seems to be here I think. So could I have a mover please? Andrew, just just before you do, just before you do, um, I have to leave the meeting at 1:30 to attend a future-proof meeting. So sorry about that. So my apologies from then. Good as gold. Thanks, Jim. Uh, so we so we include that in the in the um, in the in, in the motion as well. And you can still hear, hopefully, that this is quite clear. I've got a full screen Zoom recording for a meeting and I don't have any issues obviously hearing anyone because the speaker quality on this is actually very good. Now let's go ahead and test out the microphone quality so how clear my audio is when I record directly from this. So I'll open up my own Zoom recording and then I will play back the audio that comes directly from this on top of the Zoom recording because it is already connected to USB-C on my laptop in Zoom or in Teams, Google Meet, whatever you use, you can just change your microphone settings to be the high doc H1. So I'll go ahead and give you a sample now. Okay, so now I've opened up Zoom and I have the recording set with the high doc H1 as the microphone. I'm not doing any internal recording to transfer over to high notes at this stage. I just wanted to give you an idea of how clear the audio is. When I'm just sitting naturally on my chair, I don't need to have the speaker very close to my mouth like you do with a headset, but this is actually quite a convenient way to take very high quality audio from a microphone so that everyone on the other end of your call will be able to hear you very clearly. And I've played back some sample tests that I've created with this HiDoc H1 and using a Zoom recording, and actually it works pretty well. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of an idea of how clear the audio would be if you do take meeting calls remotely using this product. Okay, so next, let's try out the chat GPT feature, which is one of the most exciting features of the HiDoc H1. It's very simple. Whenever you're taking a call, whether that is through your laptop via Zoom or Teams, or even actually via Bluetooth on your phone, you can actually start the recording and this will save a WAV file internally onto the HiDoc H1. You hold down the HiDoc key, which is the top right one here, and then the LED ring will give you like this Scion light blue color which indicates that the recording has now started directly onto this. And then you can actually create something called voice markers, which at certain points during your call, if you wanted to put a little red flag or a little marker when it does transcribe and give you the summary in the High Notes app, that will make it very easy for you to create your own meeting notes document and pick out certain parts in the actual summary that you'd like to create chapters for as an example. So I'm going to just create my own recording directly onto this without opening anything else and hopefully showcase how the High Notes app creates via GPT its own little summary. So let's start off. I will hold down the High Dot key. So I'm going to give you a schedule for my plans of today and I have three different parts that I want to split my plans with. Part one. I'm actually going to be recording a YouTube video for the HiDoc H1 product. It's now launched on Kickstarter. It's going to be a very great campaign. This is a great speakerphone that I think everyone should buy. You can connect it to your laptop, you can connect it to your phone, and this is going to be great for recording all of your calls, no matter what device you've connected with the HiDoc H1. This is perfect for people that do remote working and take a lot of calls. And if you have multiple monitors, multiple peripherals that you like to connect all the time, then this is a very great docking station for that. Part two of my day, I'm going to be going to the gym. I'm training legs today, so hopefully I get a great workout. I'm going to be burning a lot of calories and it's going to be really useful for me just to continue my workout routine, just so that I don't miss any of my gym days and that hopefully I can fit into my schedule without having to shorten my workout at all. Part three, 
I'm now going to, in the evening, go with my friends to a restaurant. We're going out for dinner and hopefully we're going to get some nice food. After my workout, I'm going to be very hungry and it's going to be really awesome to go ahead and just have a nice meal, possibly a cheat day, but we're going to plan to get a three course meal. So we'll get starters, mains and desserts. And then maybe we'll just have a tea or coffee afterwards at a local cafe. And that is everything that's on my schedule for today. Now that I've stopped the recording, the LED ring around the control wheel has stopped. And you'll notice whether you use Mac or Windows, it should pop up with the Finder window with your recording as an external drive that you can now transfer via the WAV file. Right, so you can see in my Finder window, I have the WAV file here of everything I've just recorded. Now I can go into High Notes. I can either drag or drop or upload directly. So I've dragged it into there, it's uploading and it's going to transcribe and summarize everything that I've recorded. And that's where the ChatGPT really comes in useful. Now you can see there's two tabs here. If you go to transcript, this is everything that I've spoken. Of course, you can copy this to your own document and edit any mistakes that it may have, but it's actually very accurate. You can see where it's highlighted in blue. It's got the little voice marker, which tells me that's when I press the button and that's where I will split my document into chapters. So you can see the voice marker was right there before I started talking about part one. Then I can see this is kind of giving me headers. So part two and then part three is where I've created those three voice markers. And that is a very convenient way to actually utilize the transcription and to create your own document very quickly. When you go to summary, this actually does a very good job. It's told me that this is based on the schedule for the day. So it's picked up everything that I've recorded. And actually look, if you look at the to-do list, it's split that into the three parts that I was talking about and given a very good summary of it. So if I wanted to use this for meeting calls, it will give a very nice summary, kind of like a table of contents of everything that you discussed on that call that's been recorded. And of course, any other spelling mistakes or anything you can go ahead and make yourself. But in here, it's also given a brief summary of the parts you've mentioned with the voice marks. So of course, this slightly needs a little bit of updating from my side, but as a whole, I can just go ahead and copy this and then use this as kind of my own personal memo, document or notes or reference that I can go back to at any time to remember what happened during that call. This is actually very great. So if you're on a one hour call, for example, for work, you might not concentrate on all of the parts. Maybe there's some segments of the call that are not relevant to you. If you have it recorded and then have it summarized via high notes, it will basically allow you to go back and reference any important information at a later stage that you needed to in case you missed it or maybe you just wasn't concentrating at that moment. So this is a very great big highlight of this speakerphone that no other speakerphone on the market that I know of currently will do this type of thing. Next, let's try out another game changer feature, which is the BNC, the bi-directional noise cancellation using that red slider. Now there's a demo audio that they've inbuilt into this unit that I received that is going to play back some sounds of someone speaking with a lot of background noise and I can test out the bi-directional by myself by just using the slider to give you an idea. But I will test this in real life practice by going to another room, jumping onto a Zoom call and having a fan next to me with a lot of background noise and then getting a family member here to drown out a lot of my background noise where I will be and to see how good that works. So let's go ahead and just give you an example. Welcome to High Dog Bi-Directional Noise Cancellation Demo. In this demo, we will play audio with various background noises. So there's a lot of noise Let's coming from this person's background. The high dock brand with keyboard typing and construction noise. We believe that communication can solve 90% wow, of that problems. actually works very, very well. Communication devices of the future should Look at effortlessly the capture voice and take notes. Make conversations feel as natural as in-person interactions. Have a sleep. That and is a very design. big difference. At Hydoc, we are dedicated to innovating for communication here. Even if you go halfway, Seamlessly it's still pretty good. AI technology with comfortable design. The difference now, between it being off an and all the way on noise is actually quite large and, with car and street noise. it's amazing how Over they've the made this work. Years, we have developed deep learning algorithms to separate if you're outside with a lot of traffic, 
It really focuses on the person's vocals. For more information, please visit our website, www.hidoc.com. Thank you. Now that was a great demo and of course, I'm going to now go ahead and give a live practice and see how this works in real life situations. Now the HiDoc also has Bluetooth 5.2, so I'm going to pair it by just holding down the Bluetooth button on the side there to my phone, and then I'm gonna make a phone call, and at the same time, going to be testing that BNC slider, because I think if you are going to take phone calls using this, then people are gonna be in all different types of environments, in different situations, whether they're out on the street walking, on a busy road, whether they have a lot of family in the background speaking, whatever it may be, it's going to be a really good test to test the BNC, but also test the Bluetooth connection with phone call recording. So now I'm going to set up my microphone a little bit closer to the HiDoc H1 as well. I'm going to make a phone call, pair it to my phone via Bluetooth, and then I'm going to be typing on a keyboard very loudly. I'm gonna have a fan on just on the side as well as kind of like natural noises that you would do when you are maybe working from home remotely. And then I'll get a family member to come over here in this room. I'll step over into the other room on the other end of the call whilst I'm testing out the audio quality with the BNC slider. And then we'll test it by moving the slider up and also back down. So hopefully you guys can hear how much of a difference this slider can make. So let's look at the test. Okay, so now I've actually connected the HiDoc H1 via Bluetooth to my phone and I'm having a direct phone call, which you can actually use to record directly onto the HiDoc and transcribe and get a AI summary for it as well. So I'm going to now turn on the fan. It's quite noisy next to me. And I'm going to start typing on the keyboard, which is also next to my phone. And you should be able to hear with the microphone picking this up. So the fan is on now. I'm typing away. And you can probably hear as I'm speaking, there's a lot of noise coming from me typing on the keyboard. And we are going to test out the BNC slider now to see if you can continue hearing me. So I've asked one of my family members to help out and in my room is next to the high dock. I've gone over to another room and I'm just typing away on a keyboard here. And you can probably hear from the microphone, the keyboard noises are quite prominent. So now, if we go ahead and slowly move the slider halfway up, you can probably hear a slight reduction in my background noise coming from a different location remotely. And now if we slide it up all the way to the top, so you'll be able to hear this is the full BNC mode and my vocals are still being picked up more clearly whilst I'm still typing at the same speed. And you won't be able to hear much of that anymore. So that is a really, really great feature. So just as an example, let's put the BNC all the way back down to turn it off, the red slider. And I haven't stopped typing the same way I have from the beginning of this phone call. And you can hear the typing has come back to its original noise levels. And it just as one more final test, if you slide it all the way to the top, the fan noise, the keyboard noises, I would say it eliminates 90% of this background noise, but having the ability of eliminating that from the person on the remote end of the call, I think that's just brilliant. So now if we just bring the slider once more back down to turn it off, and you can hear the differences in the audio quality from having that on and off. And this is going to be a real big game changer. So there you have it. Hopefully that gave you a very good indication of the different capabilities of the HiDoc H1. This is packed with a lot of features. Make sure to check out the link in the description to find out all of the latest specifications, pricing informations, and you can also purchase an additional accessory called the earphone. It's actually an optional add-on that you can get. It enables private conversations through its exclusive protocol connection, but it also lets people take short breaks during lengthy meetings while remaining connected at all times. So there's gonna be a lot of options and capabilities of this when this does go live. And I do recommend if you do check this out, you will not be disappointed because I think this is very good value for money. As always, if you have any comments about the HiDoc H1, then do drop a comment down below. If you found this useful and you like all things tech and you like things that are brand new and trending, make sure to subscribe. I have new videos out every week. 
make sure to like this video and i'll catch you all at the next one